Hi, the, this video uh, we want to uh, talk about partial fractions. So look at this example here. So first one, so 1 over x plus 2 times 2x minus 1. So as you know, we have two potential denominator which is x plus 2 and then 2x minus 1 when we break them out. But we don't know what numerator is, so we can rewrite this one as any constant over x plus 2 and then another constant over 2x minus 1. The reason I put a and b because the numerator degree is single degree. Therefore, we can write number over single degree factor. Therefore, we set up a over x plus 2 plus b over 2x minus 1. So next step, now Look at whole fraction here, fraction equation, and then you need to find out the LCD, so least common denominator. So as you noticed already, LCD becomes x plus 2 times 2x minus 1. So whenever we do a uh, rational equation, we try to make everything is an integer form. So now we want to multiply LCD for every fraction. Then you will have so x plus 2 times 2x minus 1 times 1 over x plus 2 and 2x minus 1. That equals to x plus 2 times 2x minus 1 times a over x plus 2 and x plus 2 times 2x minus 1 times b over 2x minus 1 like that. Okay, so now simplify any common factor the between numerator and denominator. So as you see all these cancelled out, the second term x plus 2 cancelled out, third term 2x minus 1 cancelled out. So based on this, if I rewrite this equation, then this becomes 1 equals to 2x minus 1 times a plus x plus 2 times b here. Okay, so now, of course we can uh, distribute and then maybe combine like term. That can be one method here. But this time we focus on finding the value a and b using the value or maybe we can eliminate either a and b here. Okay? So, now look at this question here. If x equal to 1 over 2, then this term becomes 0. Similarly, if x equal to negative 2, then this term will be 0. If this term equal to 0, but not this term equal to 0, then we can find b really easily, or vice versa. Look at here, x equal to negative 2, then even though this term becomes 0, but this is not. So, we can using those two values and find value a and b uh, more easily. Okay? So, now we set up so let x equal to 1 over 2. Then this equation become 1 equal to now 0 times a plus 1 over 2 plus 2 times b here. So as you see, 0 times a means 0. This is nothing. So you can go for next step. 1 equal to you combine this to fraction, then you will get 5 over 2 times b. Multiply is reciprocal, then you can get b equal to 2 over 5 here. Similarly, let's input x equal negative 2 instead. So, let x equal to negative 2. 
Okay. Then this equation becomes 1 equal to 2 times negative 2 minus 1 times a plus 0 times b. Because um, negative 2 plus 2 becomes 0. So now we can ignore this term because it becomes 0. So this becomes 1 equal to negative 4 minus 1 times a, which means 1 equal to negative 5a. So divide by negative 5, then you will get a equal to negative 1 over 5. So we just go back to original setup, like here, and then we can replace a as negative 1 fifth, b as 2 fifth. Then this equation becomes 1 over x plus 2 times 2x minus 1 equal to 2 over 5, no sorry, negative 1 over 5 over x plus 2 plus 2 over 5, 2x minus 1, which means you can rewrite it, negative 1 over 5 times x plus 2 plus 2 over 5 times 2x minus 1. That should be partial, partial fraction for this composition fraction.